Greetings people. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on a piece of software called Game Conqueror. Uh, it is a uh, memory address scanning and editing tool similar to Cheat Engine for Windows or uh, Bit Slicer for the Mac OS. So let's get into it. Okay, gonna get into the game. 105 coins available. Okay, going to pause here. In the upper corner, you can see I have a value of 100. So if I go and open up Game Conqueror, what you do with Game Conqueror with a, uh, a fresh open is you go here, look for the game. It's Super Tux. You can search via PID like that okay it's there type 103 or nope 100 sorry there we go 2986 values are uh, were found so let's try and narrow that down okay got a hundred and one Yay, and it got narrowed down to two. And uh, this game actually uses two addresses for this particular uh, value. So let's see which one it is. And that one, 199. So that's correct value. Okay. And you can set it to lock. Let's get into the game. And let's go back into Game Conqueror now that we've the values changed a little bit. Just to give you an idea of uh, once you add a value to this area, it will a actually change. Uh, so if you have a range of multiple values that you just want to keep an eye on to see which one ch actually changes, uh, then this is a good idea. So that's about it for this. Uh, the only p thing that I need to say next, uh, public service announcement, is this will not work with online games. Uh, do not try and use it for online games, and be very, very careful what games you use this with on Steam, even uh, for single player because Steam will uh, enable anti-cheat and things will go horribly wrong. Just be very, very cautious of how you use this and do not use this for online games. One, it won't work because the memory addresses are on the host computer and two, it is morally, morally wrong. Outside of the fact that in most cases, it just won't work. So, with that, thank you for watching.